It's Ted here. I'm in the drive lab. I've got another drive I'm rebuilding. So I wanted to go over a bearing that is uh, buried into a gear and how to remove it. So I'll show you what I mean and then we're going to go through that procedure. So you see how to remove it without breaking it and having to heat it up and cut it off. All right, so here's the bearing. So the bearing is recessed. It's basically got a slot in it and it's narrow on this end and it's wider on this end. And so this is the bearing cage here and that bearing cage is, you can see their bearings all rusty. So we're gonna take um, and we're gonna get in here with a screwdriver and we're gonna bend the cage up and then cut it. And then I'm gonna cut the top of it off. So what I'm gonna try to do is cut the cage off, all the rollers come off and then I can get a bearing splitter. I'm gonna put it in the groove where these bearings fit. And then we're gonna put it in a press and we're gonna press the rest of the inner race off the gear. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start uh, getting this cage out of the way first. got a screwdriver in here. I'm just going to take that screwdriver and kind of work it in there and then I'll get a pair of wire cutters and I'll cut that cage off. Cage is cut in half. Let's bend it out to get all the bearings and everything out of there. Throw this all away. So now this edge right here is what I'm going to try to catch. So I'm going to catch that with a bearing splitter because you can see it's bottomed out. I can't get under there to get that bearing out. So I'm going to put the bearing splitter on here and try and pull that bearing out. And the press. They usually come right off, so. I suspect it'll come off pretty easy. bearing splitter and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that over that bearing and I'm just gonna sandwich that in between it so I'll stand it up on edge and just tighten these bolts up I'm not gonna crank it down I'm just gonna tighten them up by hand that's plenty of tension to hold this in here sides and then I'm going to put on a press this here and here and then I'm going to press that gear right out so when I do that I want to make sure that this gear will fit through the press or if it's not going to put fit through the press I'll put it on top of something so it'll fit through like that 
and then I can put that on the press and I can press the gear out. I'll probably have to raise this up a little higher. Alright, so I'm going to go set this on a press and uh, get this started and I want to make sure that this gear doesn't fall off and smash into the press so we're going to make sure of that. Once it starts, I can um, I can raise this up a little bit. So I'll go set it up in the press and show you. Okay, we're just about ready to start. I got my professional um, optometrist safety glass. This is our OSHA approved. Um, the lenses will not pop in. They only come out this way, so this thing will take up a piece of metal side shields just in case those little pieces of metal in there, uh, as you'll see on the race, if that thing decides to pop off of there, a piece of that metal is going to come flying out and it might come towards me. I don't care if it sticks in my face, but I don't want it to stick in my eye. So always remember if you're working on your press, always wear safety glasses. I mean, don't, don't cheat. So here we go. All right, I'm kind of lucky because I've got two of the same tools here, so I'm just going to stack these two together. Back on the press so that I can have this up higher. And what I want to do is put a rag in here so that the Never stack more than one piece on there. Getting pretty close, as you can see. So now I gotta get a mandrel to fit in here. Another special pull will fit in there so I can press it the rest of the way out of the bearing. So I'm gonna go get that set up. So I got it most of the way out. You can kind of see the bearing here. And I'm going to get another mandrel to fit this, another special pool or a socket, so I can press it the rest of the way to the bearing. So I'll get that set up next. I'm going to finish off, and this is that tool that we've used in the past for pressing the gears and shafts out the Sade 4266. This is the finished part. So what I can do is just finish this and I'm going to hold my hand under the press and catch the gear. You could press this all the way out if you want to set the press at the beginning and press it all the way out. I just like to support the uh, bearing splitter a little more. So the gear is fine. There's nothing wrong with the gear. I'm just pressing the bearings on because they got water in them and they're rusted up. So we're going to put new bearings in Put it back together. All right, I'm getting ready to press. This is that input gear off a of DPS off the pinion. So I got the two bearings. I got to do a full rebuild here because the bearings and the races are bad. So I got to press the race in this end and have to press the race in this end. All right, so I clean this up. That's ready to go. And here's the one thing you want to make sure that you do is when you're going to put this back together. Be careful because you got to make sure you put the large bearing on the gear first, not the small bearing because it is not recessed. If you push this bearing on, it extends out and it'll fit in that recess. If you accidentally press this bearing on, you will destroy the bearing because it's going to bury into here and you're going to hit the cage. So just be careful when you're doing that. Okay, I'm ready for assembly. I'm gonna take the small bearing race. I'm gonna put some oil on the inside of the cavity. I'm gonna set this in here. Set this on a press, large side up. I'm gonna take the 
884-932 tool and it says the large side up so this fits the bearing race as such it's just the size of the bearing race so we're going to put that in there like that press that in i'm going to take the 884 well, it's actually 9991801 that fits into the tool and then i will center this and then i will press this in so that's the next step we're going to flip this over put this in the press this way put some oil on the inside then i need the large bearing race from the large bearing and i'm going to take the large bearing race and i'm going to put that in the case like this get it centered flip this tool over, large side goes down, and then I'm gonna press this in into the case. Now, I really don't need this if you've got a big plate or if you've got a piece of steel plate you can put on here, but try to get this centered when you're gonna put it in there. And always lubricate the inside so it doesn't go all up when it goes in. So I'm gonna press those together next. Large race, small race, small race first. Once that's done, then I need to press the bearing back on here. All right, so again, we're gonna press the large bearing. I'm gonna lubricate the outside of the shaft. I'm gonna get this bearing set up on here, put some oil on the inside, and I can put this in a press. It says just put it in a press. Now, here's a little option, which is 884-259 fits exactly inside this gear. You're gonna put that 259 tool on the press. You're gonna center this on to that to make sure it's sitting on top of it and then we can put the bearing on here. And then I'm gonna take this 884-263 tool, I'm gonna to press that bearing all the way down onto the sleeve. So I'm gonna go press this all apart. I'll get it set up and give you a little show and tell on that too. Okay, so we got the press. I've jacked it up to the right height. I've got my bearing, I've got some foil on here. I've got my 259 tool and I make sure my gear is centered on that. I'm going to take that 263 tool and slip it in here and don't let go of it. And I'm going to get that centered, just hold it in position so it doesn't move, tighten up the press. And then get it good center into the race. Just a little more in center. Just hold down lightly, I'll go crazy. Right, and I'm pretty centered in that bearing. So, there we go. Now I'm just gonna press on there all the way down. Cool off bearing, you get a full set. Ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do that reassembly. We're going to put a new pretension sleeve here and the other bearing into the housing and then press it back together. I showed that in a previous video, but I wanted to show you actually pressing a bearing onto a gear. So I'm going to take a look. Yes, that is bottomed out in the bottom of the housing. I'm going to flip it over. Take the second race, which I've already lubricated up. I'm going to set that again, open side up. That's not And I'm going to reverse the tool. Put the tool on the race. See the foot pretty centered. Like to spin it and just see if it stays pretty much in the same place, it's not tilting around. And I know that's centered, and I want to perfectly center that in the race so that I can press that in the case. Look in there, and yes, that's bottom. Okay, put the wood on the band. Thank 
All right, sorry for the audio, it's terrible. I've got a HVAC belt noise in that lab where the press is, and man, they haven't fixed it. I got a squeaky one in here too, so someday maybe somebody will come and fix that. Right, so that's the end of getting this ready, right? I had a little tension, but as soon as I release the press, it presses apart just a little bit. So I've got no rock in the bearings, and that's a perfect place to set it up and now I'm ready to put the drive shaft back in and set the rolling torque and I've done that in previous videos. Okay so that wraps this one up. Uh, this is the video for actually using a press. That was what I was trying to show mostly is a repeat of past videos I did on repairing a DPS upper gear case. So I hope that gives you an insight on actually using a press setting it up. Sometimes you have to hold the fixture in your hand and press it with the other while you're balancing it so that's one of the tricks of it okay if you like the video please subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one